Am I live? Oh, it looks like I am. I'll wait, I'll wait half an hour until some folk tune in, Daisy. Yeah? Oh dear. Oh look, have I got a viewer? I've got a viewer, look. Hello, I'm live. I thought I'd go live, because I am alive. Um, going to do a live unboxing for you today. I've got six viewers, that should be enough to get... Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, heck. Um, I need to show that I'm, I'm on air. Just wait, I'll just move you. Ooh, oh dear, that's, that's a bit rickety. That's better. Oh, you can't even see it. Oh, I'll turn it off. Typical John Lewis rubbish. Right then. Hello, I'm live and unleashed. Now, I'm going to have to move you again. Oh, dear. Sorry about this. This is live, folks, so anything could happen in the next half an hour. I can't go on for much longer because, well, I'm currently alone. You see. Whoops. Just adjusting myself. I'm currently alone, but that won't be for too long. My captor has gone out to pump some irony. And um, so I thought, hey, I haven't done a video. Well, I have got lots of videos for today, but I didn't put it, put it on the YouTube. I'm just making some adjustments. So uh, you'll have to excuse me. I'm going to be opening this thing here. It's a vacuum cleaner. I tend to open those on this channel. Some people, oh dear. We spend money on a Manfrotto and it just will not, uh... <laughs> I had this all sorted folks. Shall I just go? Why is that like that? <laughs> That's very, oh well, hang on, hang on. Dear me, just chat amongst yourselves. I'm going to open this thing. Oh, hecky thumb, I think I might just go. I'll try this, this tactic. How are you doing? It's an awful day today in the United Kingdom. That'll do, won't it? Sort of. Henry is peeping. Can you see Henry? Whoops. Oh, there. That'll have to do. I can try and suck my stomach in. There's no editing, so... There you are. Henry, you be good boy. And don't make fun of the Becker just because he's Chinese and bagless. Now... This was voted, I, I bought this ages ago, you'll know when I bought this if you follow me on social media. I hope you can all hear me, anyway. Um, so I had, this was on, um, on offer and there was an extra 20% off at the time. So um, I did a poll on Facebook, I think, and this, this was the winner to buy this one. I ended up buying two vacuums, but uh, people wanted to see a Beko and I've never done a Beko. Oh, I've done a Beko tumble dryer, haven't I? But not a Beko vacuum. I don't have high hopes. You get a lot for your money, though. So, we get all this. Mm, lots of different heads on this one. I can't read your comments at the moment, I'm afraid. So, if I've got time at the end, I'll um, say hello, etc. So, you get a fairly nice uh, hard floor. Looks like uh, real sort of bristle brushes. So that's for your hard floors. Parking bracket, of course. Whee! Daisy, are you going to show the public yourself or are you just going to look at me like that from afar? Ooh, it feels a bit cheap, folks. Feels a bit cheap. But we do get a turbo nozzle with a Beko. And it's actually called Rollo. Can you see Rollo? It's an adjustment at the front. Oh, it's all very, very cheap. Yucko. Oh, look at, the, look at the squeegee. It's already distorted. Fresh out of the box. Stop laughing, Henry. Just go away, naughty boy. Look at him laughing. He's always smiling. You see, pneumatic should do a miserable Henry. That would make uh, a change, wouldn't it? Grumpy Henry. Right. Blah, blah. Instruction book. Don't think I'll need that. Medium crevice. Oh, that's a reasonable brush. Medium soft. Adjustable. And that's a reasonable... A 
whole skew nozzle, isn't it? And then we have the hose. And it's, oh, it's a tapered hose, thicker at this end. No, be careful, Roger, you are live. I can't do anything naughty. You see, when I edit my videos, I edit out an awful lot of very naughty stuff that I couldn't possibly show my younger viewers. Even the adults that watch might be quite shocked by some of the things that come out of my mouth when uh, things don't go according to plan. That's quite nice, though. It's a, quite a, a long curve, a bit Mila-esque. Now oh, you've got a doobry. I'm not sure if this has got um, any sort of adjustment. You know, um, it's quite short, but it's got electronic control. I washed a couple of hoses in my washing machine today. I got an awful lot of flack for doing that, but Mr. Sam Watson from Beko 1987 recommended it, and I've washed them on 60 degrees and they came out like new. That was for a couple of sea old Sebos. Now, well, here we go, one of the EU compliance. It's not bad, actually. I like the textured finish. And the doobry. Brush at the front, squeegee at the back. Two little casters and litter pickers. Well, I hope this is better. You haven't seen it yet, but I, um, oof, I unboxed a Hoover recently. A Hoover Hoover with an energy save, you know, one of the EU heads, and I could hardly move it. It was like, no, I couldn't even move it, um, to be honest. Couldn't move it at all. Right. Not bad. Telescopic tube with a bit of storage on it. As I said earlier, I can't, uh, I can see things being commented, but I can't uh, say anything at the moment. Because I'm busy doing this. So that's that. I think that's all the tools. Here it is, my first Beko vacuum cleaner. So it's a, it will be EU compliant, so it shouldn't be too noisy. I like that red. It's, it looks quite posh. Looks quite posh, doesn't it? Oh, it does. I mean, this wasn't expensive. I think it was under eighty pounds when I got it on offer. It looks a bit like one of those. Uh, those Samsungs, doesn't it? Wow, that is quite nice looking. I've had this for several weeks. Oh, that's a bit like a Dyson, isn't it? When that, <laughs> one of those Dyson things, cylinders, canister, quite, quite heavy. Look at the size of that. It's a big one. How do you, you know, how do you do that, do you? Oh, heck. It's all right, Molly. You should know by now what your daddy does for a living. Not just this. So that's your doobry. I think it is, oh, it says multi cyclonic. Cyclonic. Multi cyclonic. Mm. Multi. It's not going to be very good quality, this vid, but uh, it's live and unleashed. There's a filter. Oh, I think it's got some sort of thing. Oh, that'll come out as well, but uh, time restrictions prevent me from showing too much. Um, so that's your, that's your bin. It says A-class. A-class for what? Another little filter there, look. I can see the motor. The motor's stood up, fan at the top. You won't be able to see it from there, but can you? It's just in there, folks. That's your little uh, sponge. Pop that in there. Yeah, there we are. Yeah. And uh, then that goes on hard. And that closes. I like the way that, that happens. No, it doesn't, it's not like the Dyson that has part, that forms part of the air pass, I think, on the Dyson ones, isn't it? But it just it feels okay for a cheaper vacuum. Here's the old energy doobry. So it's an A for energy use, using an average 27.7 kilowatt hours per annum. Gets an A rating for dust emission, a C for dust pickup from carpet, an A for dust pickup from a hard floor, and it's 73 decibels. Two big uh, on-off, tawdry wind, 
Although that looks like the wheel, the wheel isn't uh, that. The wheel is there and an exhaust. Whoops, two part exhaust. You've got the little spongy part. I expect they're washable. That looks like the HEPA, and there's more sponge in there for added noise insulation, I expect. That clips in nicely. And uh, this goes on here. How does it hang? Pop that on there like that first. I might have to um, end abruptly when Face 8 comes home, so um, hopefully, I'll be, hopefully I'll be able to get everything finished. And then my secret will still be safe, you know. I don't want uh, anyone else knowing that I like vacuums. So we've got a little roller here. And do da 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 a thing in a jig here, look. That's quite smooth. So it's uh, 800 watts. Made in, where do you think, folks? PRC, of course. It's not, hey, it's not bad. It's quite, it's not light. Oh, all in all, that's quite a nice action. It does feel pretty good. I mean, I think this retail, recommended retailer, this is silly price, you know, well over 100. I got it um, a lot cheaper. Oh, it's got the, uh, look, don't pull it past that, folks. You're okay here. There we go. Oh, stop. Let's plug it in. Might come on. I should have done um, a vintage unboxing live because then you would have seen a live explosion. But this should be okay. Oh, oh, oh I pressed the wrong thing. First, first mistake of the evening. And it looks like it's a single touch. Probably why, because I just pressed that once by mistake. Oh, yes, it will rewind. But we don't want to rewind at the moment, we want to pull it out. Right, that'll do, that'll do. Had a bit of a funny sound about it, but I haven't got the hose on. <laughs> Super silence, I don't think so. Quite smart looking. Does it look smart to you, folks? Not that I can see your responses. Mmm, it's much quieter with the hose attached. Hey, that ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. Obviously, I haven't put any dirt, I won't be able to put any dirt down in this. I'm already in trouble for putting dirt down. Oh, I was beaten heavily that day. day but uh, So that goes on there. And very oddly and stupidly, one of these three tools is going to have to be Billy No Mates and shoved in the bottom of a drawer or cupboard because Becco have only supplied storage for two of them, unless I sort of do a piggyback thing. You might, oh, oh no, that'll fall off. No, they fall off. So I've got to choose which would I use the most. <laughs> Probably the crevice and the upholstery nozzle. So the dusting brush, that goes away for now. And we can pop on the two tools that you're going to use the most. On the handle, extend the wand, pop on the doobry thing. What's that called? A carpet and floor nozzle, that's right. Henry, I told you, no smirking. This isn't bad, I don't think it's bad. First impressions. The model, if you're interested, is a VCM 7180P. And I think P stands for pet, because they do this, I think, in blue without the turbo nozzle. Ah, hitch up my pants, hang on. Oh, that's better. Right. Ah, yeah, no suction control apart from the uh, valve on the handle. Help. Oh, hey. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. 
Well, it's not too, it's not too bad, but it's not like that hoover I did. Oh, wait until you see that video. Crikey. I, I honestly could not move it. I had to put all my weight behind it. Anyway, this is the nozzle that I would use the most with uh, having furry animals. And so, see how noisy that is. Of course, they won't take, take into account the noise level of the cleaner with that attached. So it's going to go over the, uh, whatever I said it was, 70 odd, what is it? 73 dB. Oh, that's not bad at all. That's pretty quiet, really. And I can, I can see, I can see some dirt in that there bin. That's not bad at all, actually. Wow, I do, I quite like it. So thanks for voting for it if you chose for me to buy this. Um, I do, it's smart, obviously. In a normal house, that'll soon start to look not quite so smart. If people scrape, this, this red here is probably just a coating on black plastic. So I can see that getting damaged, especially here. But it'll always look lovely while I, while I, while I own it. There's a little light there I didn't notice. Can you see there, look? Must be a bad check light. But the, the lovely sort of red and chrome Look, oh, I think it's smart. Oh, not too noisy. Oh, it says air gate. Air gate. Super silence. I wonder if this uh, light, I don't know if we'll be able to see. Hold it out of the light. I wonder if that'll come on if I block the end. Oh, yes, look. I can see dirt swirling about. This is a bit awkward. Oh, you've got you carry it like that when you take it out. It is a, it is quite a large capacity. Ooh. Ooh. Now I've just vacuumed this area with my Dyson Ball Animal 2, which is currently vacuum of the month. So it's found some more dirt there, look. Ooh. This isn't bad at all. I will do a demo one day. Hopefully before I die, I'll get a demo done. Oh, so, um, yeah, quite like that. Shall I see how much this costs? Oops, X. Shall you see how much this is? You won't be able to buy this, I don't think. If you're in the US of A, you might not be able to buy that yet, or at all. That isn't bad. I'm quite surprised. As I said, I got it when it was on offer. I think I got another 20% off. I can't say how much it was. I think they retail for about 80-ish. So um, let's just, uh, I'll just Google it. And uh, then I'll uh, see if I can see myself on this iPad because I'm recording on one iPad, my newer one. And this is my old iPad. Still waiting for the X4 Pep Boost demo. Yes, aren't we all? Well, it's in my wardrobe. It's out of the box ready. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll put, yeah, everything I've got to demo is discontinued. It's hardly worth doing. Well, no, some are still current. Anyway, the X4 is basically the same as all the other Seabones, isn't it? Right, hang on. Becco. I wonder if Sam Watson's ears are burning because I keep saying Becco. That isn't his name, though. Um, 7180p. 7180p for... So if you want to buy this, folks, let's have a look. Shopping. This will cost... What? Under, look, they do it in purple. I wonder what that one is. Somebody wants something. Oh, look. Oao.com have it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Ao.com have this. I'm not advertising Ao.com. I paid for this myself. Um, Ao.com have it for £89. I think that's when I paid less 20% when there was some eBay offer. 
Um, and I don't know if it was Hughes directly got this from or AO.com or uh, some, I don't know. Oops, that was quite upset. I wonder if I can see your comments on here. I wonder if I can see myself live. That would be disgusting, wouldn't it? Let's have a look. That'd be easier if I can read your comments from here rather than trying to see what you're saying there. I hope I've got some moderators. I, don't, I didn't tell anyone I was going live. I never do, you see. Just spur of the moment. So I'm going to go to YouTube and just see if it works. See if I can see myself. Um, YouTube, that's it. I think that's the right one. I hardly ever go on it. Right, let me see if I go into my channel, if I'll see what you're seeing. I might have to suck my stomach in a bit more. Yes, I do a lot of heavy editing to try and disguise the stomach, but sometimes it does sort of veer its ugly. Well, it's not a head, is it? But um, I normally, you know, hold a vacuum in front of it, or, or, a, or a fluffy dog to disguise. Um, I don't know if it's, um, I can't view as myself, videos. I'm not sure if it's going to show me live on this. Oh, here we are. I'm live now, Friday Night Live, unboxing Beko Cylinder Vacuum. Oh, hang on. Oh. Oh, I don't think that's... Oh, no, hang on. I might be able to... Oh, good, look. I can see your comments. Well, that's fantastic. Hang on, is there a delay? Woo! Oh, there's... A... Oh, no, hang on, no. There's... Um... I, want to be... I want to see myself as I am. See, I expect there'll be a bit, bit of a delay um, doing that, so... No, I can't. No. There's a big delay. Right. I'm going to read out some of your hate comments, shall I? Hopefully nobody said anything nasty, but there are some nasty folk out there. Right, the first, first part of the chat I can see is from Vacuum Vlogs. Hi, and hello, Washer Lover 18. There was going to be a washing machine video today, a demo that's all, it's already, just, I just have to press, you know, publish, whatever. But I've never done a washing machine video on a Friday. Friday's always vacuums. So you'll see the washing machine video Monday or Wednesday, if you're waiting for that. Some of you are. Right, let's see. Hello, Superwasher Kid. Hello, Moonwalker. Oh, it's Ruby. Are you changing your name again, Ruby? Good morning, says... Uh, oh, no, why do you all... Please, if you're going to comment, just have a nice, easy name for me to pronounce. Jakaira. <laughs> uh, Jakaira? Says, good morning, so I wonder where he or she is. Adam Williams, love your channel since 2016, bro. Keep it up. Thanks, Adam. And hello to Zahia. And hello, Rebecca Ashton. And hello, Jesse Taylor. Um, hello to you and, oh, his new favourite, Henry. Hello. Hello, it's good, Henry. Oh, no, I can't see. Oh, it looks very odd. I'm looking at myself picking my nose, I think on my, uh, on here. You see, it's a bit old, look. <coughs> Doing other things. Right. <laughs> I'm going to quickly go through, and then as soon as I hear the door go, it luckily, like oh, I'm going, you know, because I'll be beaten. I know I will. Oh, terrible. Right. Hello, um, Nutri Malta. I assume you're in Malta then. Becco vacuums never seen. Well, here it is. And I'm quite pleased with it so far. It's not bad at all. Um, there is an upright as well, I've seen, I know they do cordless things, but I've seen a mains upright, I think. I might get another one. Quite like the look of this for sort of budget-ish, you know. It's a budget, I think it's a budget price. I can just see myself going like that on my uh, live stream, so I'm a bit behind. Yes, uh, this is my first Becco. Hello Top Tips, hello Chris, A. Hey, Chris Emery, hello Keith Scott. Hello, Andrew Clevis Lisa. Hello, Ellis Fletcher. It was raining, it's horrible. It's been terrible today. Daisy and I have been snuggled up on the sofa under a fleecy blanket watching Anthea Turner, Perfect Housewife, most of the afternoon. Yeah, what a horrible life. Um, Tobes Maury, well said, no high hopes there. Oh, about this, well, I didn't have high hopes, but my hopes are pretty elevated at the moment. I don't think it's bad for 90 quid. Becco is cheap stuff. Well, there's nothing wrong with cheap if people can't afford expensive. You know, 
I think that's better than some cheap cleaners, certainly. Um, Eight Paul says hi, Henry. Henry says hello. You're a bit shy today, aren't you? Hey, I had to clean him after his first demo. Didn't I? You're quite nice, though. Just get out of the way, though. Shall I hit him live? Bit of Henry abuse. Look. <gasps> oh no, I didn't mean. Oh no, no, you don't mind. Yeah, he's tucked his old boots. What? No. Oh, well, I said snow. Oh, I'll make it up to you later. All right. You can have a lollipop. I'm sorry for any children watching. Henry and I were just having a bit of rough housing. You know, it's all, it's all good, clean fun. Can I please give Alex B a shout out? He's five, and we're watching my video. Hello, Alex B. It's Mr. Ibasiak with some Hoovers and Henry. Well, they're not Hoovers, are they? It's Rebecca and Henry. A bakery. Uh, Elvis Polk Salad, 1974. Hi, how is Hoover? Which one? Uh, yeah. One pound fifty. What's one pound fifty? All right. Hello, Andy, the Aspie World. Hello, Duncan Lee Price. Oh, it's Glyn. You've managed to catch me live, Glyn. Can I start again, Roger? Oh, you missed the beginning. Well, I'm sorry, Glyn. As long as there's no faux pas in this video, my trousers don't fall down, I don't swear, then I'll leave this up for folk to watch later. But it might need processing, so it might be a little bit later. Hi, I want to go to Walmart, says Michael Stinson. Well, rather you than me, Michael. Tuffan Arslan. <laughs> well, that's my country. Well, yes, I think Beko is Turkish, are they? Are they a Turkish band? But this is made in China. Hello, Nazel or Nazil? Nazel? Ah, he says. Techno Mullin, hello. Oh, Graham Reed says face it. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, Techno Mullin, I'm buying the Bissell Crossways next month. Can't get the Pet Pro version since we can't get that model in Denmark. No, we can't get that in the UK either. I don't think it's much different. It'll still clean your floors very well, the Crossways. Um... And Techno Marlin decided to buy a Bissell after watching my review. I've done a few Bissells. And Talks Maury says, Sharks all the way, any day, not cordless. Well, the new Shark cordless, that uh, lift away one's fabulous. Don't know if there's a video of that coming up at my mum's house. Uh, da, da, da. Better cover your teddy bear eye. What teddy bear? I don't know. Roger, have you used? Mm, I know of the Bissell Zing, very, very cheap and cheerful. Um, no, um, I don't think I'd, I'd want to get one of those anyway. Kieran, yay, it's Roger, I've missed your lives so much. And he says, I'm one of the best YouTubers. Oh, I don't think so, Kieran. Thank you, though. Um, oh, dear, well, Tobes Moy has gone off to watch Gardener's World, so he's probably about 70 years old if he's watching that, with that man and his dog. What's his dog? He's called, his dog's called something silly, Kevin or something ridiculous. I do watch it sometimes, only because I'm forced to. Um, hello to Pneumatic Vacuum. 70 pounds is PM, nearly. Uh, probably cost me about that one, I wonder. Right, when is the Hoover Washer demo, says Elvis Polk Salad? Well, it would have been today, but I changed my mind. Um, Monday or Wednesday. It's all done and dusted. It's not very good, but, you know... It's, it'll do. Right. Da, da, da. Oh, look, there we go. Oh, we've got someone with a spanner. Oh, hello, Jack Stryker. Oh, Jack is a very scary man. He, I don't know what he looks like, because he, <coughs> he always keeps his face covered. Uh, don't you, Jack? You should do a reveal one day, Jack. You should take it off. I'm sure you're a very handsome chap. Now. Da, 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 da. Right, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting um, all of the doodah. Hello, the TARDIS files. Hello, Deborah Hanny from Illinois, Illinois, US. Something about mental, says Tobes. Um, Graham Reed says, hi, darling. He must be talking to someone else in the chat there. Hello, Tom Wheat. Um, how long is my washing machine video, says Elvis Pork Salad. Ooh, about 10 inches. So here we go. Here's the man with a, with a, a wrench. So he'll be um, hitting you all on the head with it. This is Mr. Rusty Skull Productions. Real name, oh, I think it's Cedric or something. Um, hello, gentlemen and gentle ladies. 
He's been having a lot of trouble with his Land Rover. Her. Poor Rusty. Have you got a job yet, Rusty? Get on with getting a job. I'm sick of seeing you every two minutes. I've already told you. Honestly. You should get a job, but don't film in it. Unless it's a job where you're filming. Hello, Manuel. A man like Wellard. He says, Rusty Skull, the biggest alpha male in the land. Well, that's pushing it. <laughs> Bless him. Poor Rusty. I do feel for him. Adam Dalton, hello. Hello, Jeff Sloan. Nice videos, but good with the uprights. Ooh, whatever that means. Um, oh, oh, yes. Well, Toad Smory is sticking to his dustpan and brush. Well, good for you. At least it saves electricity. Hello, Joseph. Rosa Milia. Just wanted to say I love the vintage USA Electrolux video this week. Well, that's long gone. Got rid of that a couple of weeks ago. Anyway, you can see all the progress on Sam's channel, Becco1987, because he'll be, he's getting another hose for it, I think, and he says he's got a polisher for it. So any more videos of that, you'll not come to me for. You have to go over to Mr. Becco's channel um, if you want to see that. Hello, Sarah B. Um, why, Roger? Oh, hi, Roger, says Modmaster375. Uh, uh, Joseph M. Roger, can you get a Kirby G4? No, I've no plans at the moment on getting any more Kirbys. That last one scared me a bit. Graham Reed, what, Roger, what does your partner think of your hobby? That's, uh, that's, that's something I better not say anything about. The, the house is full of vacuums. Yes, it's causing a lot of friction. Rusty Skull Productions. Oh, he has. Oh, he starts Monday. Oh, good. What's he doing? On a landfill. Oh, save me some vintage Hoovers, Rusty. So Rusty's going. Rusty will be Stigger the Dump if you're old enough to know who Stigger the Dump is. So we can expect to see Rusty clambering about in an awful lot of filth, and he'll come home stinking to high heaven. Well, that'll be fun. Oh, you won't be able to film. Well, you can have a word with your boss. You can ask him. Ask him up front, Russ. Say, look, when I'm on my break, is it all right if I film some YouTube videos? Right? Uh, da, da, da. Roger, are you going to get that new Dirt Devil? Probably not, if you're talking about um, an American one. Um, I don't know which one you're talking about. We don't really have much Dirt Devil in the UK. Hello, Tony Kemeny, is that? Uh, Tom Week, did you make a demo of that Kirby Dirt? You, not yet, because that's Sam's. I need to give it to him back. But that will get done, at, you know, hopefully before I'm dead. Oh, Sarah says, oh, no, Rusty, all those rats. I don't think the rats, I think the rats will be okay. They'll, they'll run a mile when they smell rusty. Adam Dalton, hello. Kieran, it's so annoying I've been missing your lives because I failed my exams and having to resit them. Oh, never mind. At least you can resit them, Kieran. Hopefully you'll do better next time. Uh, new anti vacuum. How are you finding the Allergy? Does the motor run any hotter with extra filter? I wonder if this will affect reliability. I wouldn't have thought so. I don't know. I haven't used it much because I, I, can't, um, I can't use the old Henry Allergy much because it's not vacuum of the month, is it? But it might be soon. Mm, stay tuned. He might be vacuum of the month, but not as he stands now. He's going to have a few extra embellishments added which you'll all see when he is back human of the month. So you will get your time again, Henry. Don't, no, right, this is Becco's time. You go there. Uh, hello, Tony. Uh, Kieran. Kieran's terribly softy. I don't know why. Uh, could I do a house tour? Not at the moment, because I'm on a tripod and the house is an absolute tip. Um, Glyn is missing my shark. It's on offer, uh, Glyn. Already, I knew it would be. It's not much of an offer, but I think it's on at 350 now, direct from Sharp, and you can easy payments, you know. Uh, Tom Wheat says the rats will get along well with Mr. Rusty. Well, I think so. They probably, yeah, I think it'll end up bringing them home as pets. Um, Joseph uh, Emmerich, besides the noise, what's better? AEG Ultra one or an or Oric one? Well, anything's better than Oric. <laughs> the AG. I've only got one Oric, well, two Orics, and they, they're both very noisy. Hello, Ratmo Gambo. Hello, Richard Garner. Blake Porter, how many vacuum cleaners do you have? I've no idea. I'm in the middle of sorting them and listing them. 
I'm going to say 250-ish. That sounds awful. Skylight Sheen. So, dear Roger, not another bagless vacuum. Yes, but don't worry, there's lots of bagged coming up too. Um, Roger, did you shave the hair of your face? Yes, and uh, and my bottom as well. Not, mm, it's growing back, though. I, I shave my bottom once a week, and when I was on holiday, I shaved my um, face. And my back gets mowed about once a fortnight. I leave the chest hair though, you know, gotta got have something there to keep me warm. Keeps keeps my chest warm so I don't get any colds. Um, oh, I won't be able to show this after, it's far too naughty. Hello Richard Whitehead. Ian is there with his spanner. So hello Ian. I was thinking about you Ian, uh, today, because for some reason or another I, I decided to ask Alexa, she's not listening, she's in the other room, to play me some hymns. Some religious hymns and I was singing along to them and getting all well I was crying my eyes out making my crumpets listening to some lovely hymns reminding me of school days yes right uh, wonder where the hubby has gone the hubby is pumping iron uh, not that it makes any difference still got a belly the size of uh, whatever um, do I have the new Bissell Ketch hair eraser no I think it's a witch magazine don't buy Nothing worse than a hairy man, says Graham. Well, mm, that's your opinion, Graham. Richard Garner, Roger, Shark is putting the zero M in all their vacuums. Yes, I expect we'll get the zero M uh, later. Oh, have I caught up? I've caught up with you folks. Have you all gone quiet? I think, I think I've scared Rusty off. Bless him, I think he's gone. Sick, oh no, there he is. Hello, Rusty, from Speak of the Devil. Tom Wheat, I'm surprised you're using Alexa. Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm a, such a sellout. I got rid of all my, I, t I unplugged all the Alexas because I thought they were listening to me at night and talking about me behind my back. So I unplugged them all. And then I thought, oh, I'll just plug them in. The Wi-Fi will kill me anyway. So I plugged them in and I've got one in the kitchen and I ask her to, I ask her the weather and I ask her various things and she often can't answer them. So, typical. Roger, he's been blocking all the nasty girls on Instagram that want me to follow them. Yes, I've been having trouble with a lot of girls showing their bosoms on Instagram, following my Instagram page. And I'm thinking, I don't think they're interested in looking at vacuums. So I just, I don't block them. I, I click the spam and let Instagram deal with them. Adam says, help me please. Help you what? Uh, Joseph Emma, did you try the original Shark Navigator Liftaway? Um, I had... The earliest shark I had was that purple thing I navigated. It wasn't a liftaway version. It's on my channel. It's years old. Uh, New matter vacuum. Did you manage to get on with your classic three? Oh, I haven't seen it since the video. <laughs> it's packed away. <laughs> no, I probably will have a look at it one day and get it polished. Um, Kieran, can I ask what you voted in the EU referendum? Well, it's my business, but. I don't vote anymore. I don't vote for any politicians. They're all as bad as each other, but I did vote for that. And I have to say, I'll get a lot of hate for this. I vote, voted leave, okay? And not because I'm bothered about immigration, because I work with a lot of uh, Polish and um, other uh, people from other backgrounds and ethnicities. And they're fine as long as they do the work. I'm not bothered. It's, it wasn't about that, it was about all the bureaucracy and the, the, the gravy train of the EU and people um, just getting, you know, expensive lunches and hotels and going on trips and all the money going into that pot and it wasn't really going to anything any good. That's what swayed me. Anyway, who knows? Oh, Rusty didn't vote. Well, that's why you're in the state you are, Rusty. Oh yes, bad boy am I. Rusty's not in the middle of nowhere. Well, I suppose Stanford Lee Hope is in the middle of nowhere. It's the, the back of beyond. Joseph Emmerich, can you vacuum? Can, can all your vacuum handle all your dog's hair? No. It mainly is an upright or a decent turbo brush you need or a power head on a doobie. Um, Sharon hops in. Hello, Sharon. Love your videos. I'm a big Dyson fan. Lots more Dysons coming up, Sharon. Some older new in the box ones and some newer new in the box ones. Um, Richard, Roger. I hear Rusty Skull talk about you a lot in his videos. Well, I'm sure. Oh, hello. Thank you, Tom, for the £4.99 in Super Chat. Thank you very much. 
Um, Rusty, it's because I don't trust anyone in charge of the country, he says. No, well, I'm the same with you, Rusty. I think Rusty would like to be a hermit. I think he regrets getting married, to be honest. I think Rusty would be happy on his own in a lighthouse. And I'd join you, Rusty, but then you wouldn't be on your own. Um, every little help. Yes, thank you, Tom. Every little helps. If there's any millionaires watching, can I have... I would like £325,000, because there's a house I'd like to buy. And... Um, well, give me, can I flee 50,000 and then I've got enough to buy some furniture? Plenty of room for my vacuums in that house. Um, Rats Mogambo, can you stream in 4K? No, I don't think so. I'm streaming on this iPod here, um, so I don't think it can. You might only see it in 720p now, and it might, that might be all it is. Once it's gone through and, and rendered properly after the live, it might give the option of 1020, but you'll not get 4K because you can't record on 4K. Or can I? I might be able to. I probably can on that. That's our newer iPad. That does record in 4K, but probably not. Uh, pneumatic vacuum wants to be with Rusty in the middle of nowhere. Sounds interesting. Well, I think what would happen, pneumatic vacuum, if you were in the middle of somewhere with Rusty, you would end up with um, a spade on the back of your head and buried in a shallow grave. I wouldn't trust him. I think he's a murderer, to be honest. Uh, Glyn Roberts, I thought a hermit was a kind of crab. Well, it is, Glyn, a hermit crab. But you can have a hermit. I've got something else to deliver today. I was going to unbox that. And I'm going to have to do my Ministry of Silly Walks. You'd have to be very old to know what I'm referring to. Oh, I got something po uh, delivered about 40 minutes ago. Oh, heck. I can't feel my feet. There we go. For any sock fans, I've got my stripy socks on. I'll um, just get it for you. Try not show you. I'll just show you this, look. Ooh. Yeah, look. It's come, it's come from America. Yeah. I was going to unbox that, but, well, I couldn't have really shown you it working because I need to put water in it and detergent. And it's best on a hard floor. Actually, it does shampoo as well. Yes, I've got myself an American scrub, scrub and vac. It's a shampoo polisher, uh, but it also scrubs the floors and vacuums up the uh, dirt. What are you going on about, Daisy? Come here, you're going to say hello. Why are you crying? Come here. Oh, Ooh, I hear a car. I might have to go in a minute. As soon as I hear the door, uh, not the, as soon as I hear the back door going, I'm going to have to turn all this off and run upstairs and lock myself in my bedroom for fear of, of you know, being murdered. Now, hang on. Right. Uh, Rusty, did you get your Land Rover working? All Rusty does is gets things out and ba bashes them with a hammer and then throws glue on them and, uh, you know, he thinks that's fixed. I think you should use your... Can I though? I don't think you can use an X. Can you use the X33 to live stream? Because I thought that and I looked online and someone said you couldn't. Uh, when you put three maps. Oh, I can't be bothered, Russ. This is the easiest thing to do. That's why. Hello, Grumpy Man Reviews. Um, it's easy. Just I've got a nice um, little thing that holds my iPad on my tripod, you see. Daisy, what is your problem? Cover up my belly, Daisy. Come on. Cover it up. Sarah B is watching this while cleaning her dishwasher. You always need to get your dishwasher cleaned, especially the seals. They can get very grubby, can't they? Yes. A little toothbrush, an old toothbrush, is ideal for that sort of thing, Sarah. Night kill always oh, attracted a message, or somebody has. I have a friend who lives in America. Uh, Joseph Emmerich says hi to Daisy. And Jonathan Chapman, 2017, hey dude, Tom Wheat, just giving us Mr. Rusty a storage unit to live in with a month's supply of raw meat and let him be at peace. Now I think Rusty needs to cut out the meat altogether. I think Rusty needs to go on a vegan raw food diet for at least six months and he might get back to peak health. Well, he'll be healthier than he's ever been. How loud is the Hoover Tempo? Hmm, fairly loud. That will be coming up. Uh... Oh, hang on. What video editing software do I use, Roger? Mine's so slow. Well, whatever came with the Mac. iMovie, that's all. I don't even have the uh, Final Cut Pro. I just use regular iMovie. Um, 
Rusty says, and whoever asks, yes, he's fixed his Land Rover, but it was a huge mistake going single mass flywheel, whatever that means. I'll be changing, oh, it's, oh, it's all right, he's changing it back to a dual mass flywheel. Any the wiser? No, none of us are. And uh, Night Killer is watching as well as, he's, how can he watch and vacuum? Oh, Sarah's using a toothbrush on her seals as we speak. Baking soda and white vinegar, says Jonathan Chapman. I buy the new Bosch Clean, and it's a fantastic vacuum, says Fabian. Jonathan says, I'm cleaning my floor and my rug with a shock. Ratmo Gamo, tilt the tripod, so, oh no, I'm not showing my face. Look. Yeah, that's enough of it. I tend to do these videos, you can just look at my breasts, look at them. Daisy loves it. Cover up my belly, Daisy. I can't keep it sucked in for too long. Joseph has four vacuums. I wish I, I, wish I only had four. Two Eurekas and two Bezels. Uh, got my glasses on this evening. No, I've got my contact lenses in. Uh, Richard says, Roger, the day you unbox the Dyson V10 or Shark Robot or Dyson Robot, my eyes will be glued. Well, the V10 is hit and miss. I don't know about the V10. I'm supposed to be getting it from AO.com, but they haven't got them in stock yet. Dyson have just launched in Japan a brand new robotic vacuum, which will probably be coming to thing. Oh, I've got to, hang on a minute. I, I might be able to get away with it. I lied on YouTube so you can just keep going down. Right, um, it's okay, I'll continue because, um, say my tormentor's back. Right, okay. Yes, just go past, nobody can see you. Look, if you can't see you past here, just run past. Don't speak. Try not to breathe. That's it. Off you go. Go and have your shower. You stink. Go on, Molly, you follow your daddy. There we go. Oh, that's okay. I'll have to go soon, folks. Oh, that was a close call. Oh, that was close, because you might have come in and started saying all sorts of rude things. I'm going to go in a minute, anyway. Right. What were we talking about? Yes. Um, so yes, there's a new Dyson robotic vacuum coming up. He's holding his... Oh, Night Killer Place, holding his phone in his hand while he's using your vax. Well, I hope you can hear me above the sound of your vax. Uh, did you hear about the toy Dyson V8? No. Is that available in the UK, Jonathan? I haven't even unboxed my real Dyson V8. Uh, Roger, do I have any Eurekas? No, Joseph, I don't. We don't have the Eureka brand as such. I don't want to really import um, Eureka. Do I understand Spanish? No. I barely understand English. Night Killer Play has a Mila CX1, Vac, Mac Air, and a Beldre. Oh dear. A Beldre Turbo Plus. Mark has gone upstairs to put on his high heels and stockings. Now he only wears those on a weekend. Well, I suppose it is a weekend for him. Yes, I expect he will be putting on his support hose. Um, a Casden, eh? Well, I'll have to look out for that. Probably cheaper than the real thing. Richard says, Rusty Skull, I almost bought, bought it on QVC in America. And it would have come with a free storage tank. Oh, the V10. He's saying, how old is Daisy? Well, I think Daisy's coming up for nine, aren't you, darling? She's coming up for nine years old. Oh, I dreamt of her last night. Oh, we were trying to climb up the side of a big, big ocean going liner and it was hundreds of feet up and I dropped her and she landed on some concrete, didn't you? But she was okay and it was only a dream, so that's all right. But I was a bit concerned. I don't know why we were going on a cruise ship. Tom Wheat, speaking of Dyson, have you seen they have now made a hair, well, that, that hair dryer, the supersonic hair dryer has been out for ages, Tom. I mean, if I had any hair, I'd have been tempted. I mean, I've got enough hair on my body to make up for what I don't have on my head. So I suppose I could use it for my chest hair and, you know, uh, that all, you know, after you've had a shower, you can do all your bits. This is getting graphic. Ooh, what's that? Look. <clears throat> oh, Glyn's off to Argos. So I'm in dispute with Argos. Well, Argos card. So I'm not going to use Argos card anymore. They've charged me for a Dyson that I returned months ago and they still charge me for it. So I'm having a great trouble with them. 
So um, to, to Argos card, that's for sure. Right, Argos is okay, but I'm not using their card anymore. Can I try and get Toy Dirt Devil? Oh no, not, not, they're not available in this country. They cost far too much to import. Uh, what vacuum does Molly fear the most? Well, for some reason, well, she went for Henry. She went for Henry when I used him a bit. She went straight for him. But she doesn't seem to mind the Dyson um, Ball Animal 2 that I was using. Perhaps, perhaps it's quieter. Um, and I think the Sebo X7 when I was using that, she really went for that. She just sort of tries to nibble. She doesn't put her teeth in. Um, but Daisy, well, oh, you're, you're, off, you're off camera, Daisy. You can sit there and look pretty. Uh, Daisy's not fussed. Oh, you, you always do what I don't want you to do, don't you? Typical. Come here. People can look at you instead of my belly, can't they? What I have found of keeping up appearances, said Roger. I've never heard of that programme. Oh, Sheridan! No, I don't know who you mean. Yes, I've got all of them on, um, I've got the box set. Of course I have. Old Hyacinth Bucket. Bouquet! Yes, I like a lot of the comedy. Sh I, comedy is my bag. Uh, so be, I'd love one of those Dyson dryers. Well, Sarah, if you're a good girl, Santa Claus might give you one. Oh, that sounded a bit rude. <laughs> he might get you one, put it in his sleigh. Well, speaking of Christmas, it's a bit early. Um, now, I don't ask for um, Patreon or PayPal anymore or Amazon Wishlist all year. But I will make an exception for Christmas. I will open an Amazon wish list for a brief period, uh, a few weeks before Christmas, if anyone would like to choose anything from that for me, and I'll open it on Christmas Day. And it'll be, that's all. I do just do, I'm just doing that once a year. Um, so, you know, if you want to be featured on the Christmas Day video, you can buy me a lovely, I don't know, one of the new Dyson robots, can't you? Or, what else have I put on there? <laughs> I'll be putting loads on from the really, really cheap, uh, you know, under a fiver thing to some really silly prices. I don't expect to get any. I've got, I've got some lovely things that the, the years I've been doing it. So thank you to everyone who's con contributed in the past. So I will be doing that. Um, so I've got something to open on Christmas Day, otherwise I'll have nothing. Uh, Beldre is terrible on carpet. Well, they used to make ironing boards. Um, right. Hello UK Skin, he's late. You're late? Yes you are. Or... Yes you are late, but I, I'll be going soon. Never mind. Did Daisy run when the Oric... Daisy isn't scared of any vacuum, not even an Oric. But I've trained her to attack Dyson's on site, haven't I? Well if James Dyson comes round, she's to bite his ankle. Isn't she? Santa better give. Uh, Roger, if your partner ever kicks you out of the house, you can come and live in my guest bedroom. Oh, well, do you live in Yorkshire? Oh, thank you, Connor, for the five euros. He's from Ireland. He has a Hoover 417G in blue and white. Well, I think I've got one of those. Mine's green, isn't it? I think I've got 417G. Thank you very much, Connor. I'll put that towards some Hoover bags or something. Or some belts. Oh, Sarah never gets her stocking filled by Santa. Well, Sarah, you're obviously a very, very naughty girl then. Try and be a bit nicer, and then Santa might come down your chimney. If you're a very good girl. Night Killer screamed when you sent my name to, when I said your name. Night Killer plays, 33. <coughs> Pneumatic Vacuum says he's been good and expects Santa to fill his stocking this year. Well... I expect it will have some vacuum things in it. Uh, is there a Dyson that's a thousand dollars? Ah, oh, Daisy. Ooh, oh, we like that, don't you? I expect there is a Dyson that's a thousand dollars. Oh, Sarah has no hope. Oh, because she's a very naughty, naughty girl. Never mind. As long as you're enjoying yourself, Sarah, not hurting anyone. Connor says. Also, I had sprained my ankle yesterday. Well, I hope that gets better, Connor. An excuse to stay on on your bed or on the sofa all day watching telly. I love Hoovers. Do I like my Henry Algae? No, he's a horrible, nasty little vacuum. You ho Yes, I do quite like it. I like, uh, I like the fact he's got that big filter. Stop licking my hand. He's got a nice big filter. He's quiet. And um, I'll be playing with him more in later videos, but I can't at the moment. Stop licking. 
jumped and I dropped my phone and smashed. Oh dear. Never mind. Richard Garner, Santa Claus don't like me because I asked for the most expensive vacuum. Well, I don't know what to say about that. And Fabian has got the new iPhone XS. Well, I've just got an iPhone, what is it? A 5 something. <laughs> I'm not bothered about phones. Hello, Chris, again. Hi, could I share? I'm not, go I'm not moving from the spot because I'm on a doodah. You'll see the Hoover washer um, the next week demo. The AEG, AEG dryer is in my garage and there's no way I'm going out in this weather. Are your curvy loud? Yes, fairly loud, Joseph. Rat Mogambo, can I do a back demo cleaning Mark's new car? Well, I'm not allowed anywhere near it, but I am planning to, if I can get the keys. He sleeps with them under his pillow. Rusty Skull Productions, oh dear me, it's a good job that you went over, it's a good job that went over the heads of most of your fans, Roger, young and clueless. I don't know, it's something I said ages ago, I expect. There may be a few double entendre in what I'm saying. Connor says, your dogs are so cute, and goodbye. Oh, well, goodbye, Connor. You're so cute, Daisy. Hello, Cameron Smith. Um, how old is they? I've done that. Nine, nearly. Jack and James, uh, they're, they're still here somewhere, but they're boxed up for now. And pneumatic vacuums going. Buy pneumatic vacuums. Probably have something on the telly he wants to watch. Um, have I been tempted to bring the AEG back in? Well, it never left, uh, Tom. It's still in the kitchen. And I do so want to put that back after I've used the Hoover to wash a few more vacuum hoses and other parts. I would love to have a Dyson flying car. Oh, he's making a flying car. I don't think I'd trust... <laughs> I don't think I'd trust to go inside a flying car made by Dyson. Will it be bagless, I wonder? Well, I think that'll have to do, folks, for now. Uh, as I say, I'm not alone anymore. So we'll have one last, let me turn myself off. That was handy, having two iPads, because this one's a bit dodgy. The, the home button's gone a bit funny, so I bought a new one. Um, it still works, but that's been great for today, because I can look at your comments without straining to look where you do them, right? I've been going on for, oh, oh, it's gonna be under an hour, so that's good. So we'll have one last, uh, one last look at the, the unboxing, the Becco. Oh, hang on. So here's the Beko Super Silence Multi Cyclone Air Gate A Class. The airflow is 1.6 M3 Min, whatever that means. All this writing on it makes you think it's fancy. Um, so, right. Um, oh, we can have another quick, we'll have another quick go with the old turbo head and then I'll say goodnight to you all. Have a Miss Bake Off. No, the extra slice thing. I bet I have, haven't I? It's a time. Oh, I like that, the extra slice. Ugh. Heck, my feet have gone to sleep again. Right, Henry. Oh, I'm Henry the back. Oh, yeah. There you are. You watch there. That'll get me more views. Henry in shot. Nobody's interested in the other vacuums when Henry's on screen. I can hear the shower going, so I haven't long, folks. Right. Oh, my foot's gone to sleep. I'll have to use my hand. Yeah. So, all in all, I think that's pretty good for. Well, ninety pounds if you're not getting on a discount. Oh, it's, yeah, I think it's got one touch cord rewind as well. We'll soon find out. Yeah. Well, if it performs well, that might be a recommended budget cleaner. I think that's pretty, pretty smart, don't you, folks? I love the crew. Well, I nearly belched. I love the chrome action. I think you've all stopped commenting. I can't uh, see any more comments. So I'll be off. Hope you've enjoyed this impromptu live show. And, uh, oh, look, I've had 13 pounds given to me. Unlucky for some. I'm still after 650,000, folks. Any millionaires? Any Arabs watching? 650, come on. 650,000, no? 
I don't know, it's only 650. No, sorry. No, no, it's only 350,000. No, I, that's all I want, that's all. Then I can get myself a lovely big house with a utility room and plenty of vacuum storage. And lots of places I can um, demonstrate. Right, that's it. Have a lovely weekend. I'll be working tomorrow, but uh, whatever you're doing, do it safely and be kind to each other, folks. Uh, oh, I've got £14. Pounds. Thank you, whoever broke the 13, because it was very unlucky to have 13. So, I'm off. Goodbye. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, I've just gotten over the hour. I'll have to find the off button. Uh, what do I press? Oh, that. See you later. See you on Monday. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, hopefully. Washing machine video next week. Probably another unboxing. And if I can get it edited, the uh, shark cordless lift away, doing a whole house clean of my mum's much tidier house. So bye for now.